Across the ring. The counter punch. But Tank, man, I got Tank stopping Devin Haney, man. Oh, my stopping. God. I mean, knocking him out. Oh, my goodness. I'm letting you know right now. Like, I don't know what you're talking about with that one, ABT. That's actually crazy. Talk to me. I mean, he got hurt by the Norris. And Jojo Diaz kind of hurt him a little bit, too. I'm, listen, I, I don't think it's, it's not out of the realm possibility. But after, after watching, I realized something about Tank. And maybe maybe he has something hidden that he hasn't shown us. But that Ryan Garcia fight, he fought one more guy um, that he, that I can't, I can't remember who it was, but he, um. To the Pitbull Cruz? Yeah, that, that was, that was a tough fight for him. Um, and there's another dude he fought, it might have been the same fight where, you know, he, he, I'm really getting, and I know this is a controversial because he's not, as, he's not as bad as Wilder, but it seems like Tank Davis is just knocking, knocking people out, but it's like, it's close fights and then he just ending it. You know what I'm saying? If he can't land that big shot on Devin Haney, I don't see what he I don't see what he's doing, bro, for the rest of the fight. Let's see Devin Haney David Devin Haney's way more first of all, Pitbull Cruz, okay. And Devin Haney, Devin Haney's bigger. Devin Haney has a size advantage on Tank, and not saying that's the issue because Tank is far people bigger than him. Um there are rumors about Tank sparring heavyweights. And sparring and, and knocking them out, you know he just beat Ryan Garcia. But De Devin Haney, way more is, is, is more. I'm not gonna say way more, but more skilled than Ryan Garcia. Um, he's arguably, I think he he has as much power as Pitbull Cruz. Pitbull Cruz get take a tough fight, okay. Um, Haney Haney fought Linares. He's been in there with. You about to fight Loma. Especially if he does well with Loma, I think Haney because he he does a good job of, of pressing the action and controlling the fight. Tank ain't fought nobody who really who really does that, but Pitbull Cruz did it. I'm talking about guys who really press the action and control the ring. No, I see what you Tank saying. always control the ring, man. Look, I gotta ask you something. Going back off your point though, you said if Tank do not land on <laughs> Devin Haney. It's gonna be a long night for him, basically, right? Yeah, if he got it, cause when I'm like I said, what I'm noticing about Tank Davis's fights is that he he they, they're close fights, and then he's just landing a shot and getting bailed out and winning, you know. Kind of like I'm Tank for I don't know how long, but he he that pit bull somebody he stopped where he he was getting getting hit, and then he's hit him with an uppercut, and then he's talking about Leo Santa Cruz, you know, Leo Santa Cruz. There we go. Uh. Yeah. He was getting hit, getting hit, and he just waiting for that shot and knocked him out. Just did it with, uh, you know, uh, Ryan Garcia, these one-shot knockouts. What is it going to be like when he's fighting a dude with defense, okay, head movement, green general, a little bit of power, size advantage, a guy with a solid resume at, like, like Devin Haney who's fought champions, Go ahead and keep talking your shit about the Devin Haney. You remember you was at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. It's already recorded. Yeah, so one thing I was thinking about is the discipline that, De that Devin Haney has that, that Brian Garcia does. Okay. You mean Tank? No, that, no that, I'm telling you that Ryan Garcia don't. Okay. Because I was seeing some of these things that Tank was catching Ryan Garcia with. I said, that wouldn't be Haney. Um... And he gonna move around a little bit more than Ryan Garcia did. Ryan Garcia was just coming forward, you know, throwing shots, getting caught. Yeah. You know, that ain't gonna be any, like no no sloppy shots, and you just, uh, you know, uh, Tank can just uh, duck his head and throw some wild stuff. That ain't gonna happen, man. Uh, Haney is a far better boxer than people get him credit for. It. You know, he is uh, a good boxer. We see the skill. People, yeah, and the thing is, Haney is uh, one thing about. Even Tank said this, and I mentioned this earlier. Tank said Haney a middleweight, and you think about it, 
Haney not Haney not supposed to be in the wall forty. That man his natural weight is like one fifty, one fifty four. He's probably one forty seven if you ask me. Well yeah, I'm talking about boxing wise. I'm talking about if Haney didn't pick up boxing in his life and he was walking around as an average citizen, that man one fifty five, one fifty four. Oh probably more than that. Yeah, probably like one sixty. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a big dude, man. And I don't Garcia probably I think might be one one fifty or something like that. And like I said, Tank is small people bigger, but Tank ain't gonna be able to rely on one on just no one shot, man. That's my point. Okay. He ain't gonna be able to do that with, with, with Haney. And Tank can box, but we might, he gonna have to Tank gonna have to work for for that one, man. And I think I I think Haney wins this one. Well, Tank is also a good body puncher, and you know one thing that don't move. Of course, it moves, but you know what I'm saying. A lot of people like to say, you know, okay, Devin Haney, he's gonna be. The head movement and the foot speed is going to keep him out of danger for a lot of the fight, maybe. But Tank knows how to cut off the ring. Tank is going to eventually land. And Tank, I can see him I can see him even hurting Devin Haney to the body. When last time have, you, have he faced a vicious body puncher like Tank? You know, you got to ask yourself these type of questions, man. There's so many answers when it comes down to this fight. And I just feel like... Maybe if Tank didn't have the experience against Devin Haney, it'd be different. But I feel like that experience is going to play a factor. Plus, you know you heard a guy. Plus, Devin Haney, man, I'm telling you, man, I just, I don't see him having the best chin, man. If he had a granite chin, then maybe, yo. But he do not have a granite chin, yo. He don't. So you, you be, but you basically relying on him not getting touched. It's not like Muhammad Ali in a sense. Not compare Devin Haney to no damn Muhammad Ali now, but I'm saying like Muhammad Ali, he had good foot speed, knew how to use the ring, had good reflexes. But even when you did touch Ali, he had a chin. Devin Haney, on the other hand, got all these fluffy feet. All these good attributes, good head movement skill, but when you touch him, you can't give him the noodle leg. In my opinion, Tank hits way harder than Anaris. And you guys keep wanting to say, not you, EBT, but people keep wanting to say, why do you guys keep bringing up Anaris? Listen, it's not like, okay, when people, okay, let me give you an example. When people say, oh, why you keep bringing up the Gamboa when he heard Terrence Crawford? At least that fight was down near a decade ago, not more. When it comes down to um, Lenars, on the other hand, that fight wasn't too long ago. It's like, what, less than two years ago, if that? So, that was very recent. So, we can't sit here and act like that fight was ages ago. No. It was recent. And if Tank catches with that same shot, which we know Tank more skillful, more powerful than Norris, Tank knocks his ass out. Point blank, period. If he, if he gets a shot, if, you know, so, but I think one thing I can do, one thing we can do is wait till this, this Loma fight happens. That's going to tell us a lot. It's going to tell us a lot, but not from the power aspect. Well, yeah, I'm saying, but like, the, the discipline of Haney is Haney still getting caught with these shots. As if I'm telling you, if Haney comes out there and has a solid show in this Loma and wins, he 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 killing Tank. Simple. All right, man. Because mm -hmm. Loma got power too, and I and I think if Haney don't get caught with no no shot from Loma and he's disciplined throughout that whole fight and he, and he has a solid victory, he he killing Tank, man. Because Tank Tank is yet to, to, to fight somebody. I'm gonna say boxing wise. Ask you to some you know what's lot. funny? It's funny you say that, bro. Because it's the same way with Devin Haney, just in a total different aspect. Devin Haney has fought technical guys. George Hamosos, a little technical. Jojo Diaz, very technical. In fact, I give him more credit for Jojo Diaz more than a lot of people think. And who else? A, a good technical fighter. Um... Basically, what I'm saying, Devin Haney has fought a, a lot of good technical fighters, even Jorge Linares. But when has he faced somebody that could put your lights out with one punch? That's 
what I'm ready to see. That fighter is tank. That's what I'm ready to see right there. So we both need answers, my boy BT. We both do. That's true. I don't know, man. I'm just I'm favoring I'm favoring Andy, man. I have a little six sense, man. But I just see two two fighters in the ring. I think I think Andy Andy gonna give Tank that work, man. I think Andy, I think Andy will know will know how to capitalize better off his size too than a, than a Ryan Garcia. It's Ryan Garcia, man. That's it. You know, not, I don't mind him as a person either. I'm gonna say that. No, I see. I want. No, I see what you're saying about that. I want to compare him to Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia fought a stupid fight. He came straight forward on Tank too. Yeah. I feel like Tank. I feel like um, Devin Haney will actually be on the back foot, like literally right, be on the back will. foot. Like he won't go for it against Tank. So Tank will have to cut off that ring, which I think he will. Yeah, and he gonna get popped. He ain't gonna just come right in there and and, and do some. You know, Pacquiao and Mayweather, Maidana Mayweather type stuff. I don't think he, Hey, you know what's crazy? I disagree with you with, on that one. I think he can because, that, yes, he's going to catch a tank, of course. I see that, what you're trying to say about that. But it's not like Devin Haney got this Tommy Hearns type of jab going no. out there and to the point he's going to kill or down there stop you with a jab or he don't have that type of power that's going to just make Tank not want to come in or risk coming in. Yeah, I mean, that's true, but he'll make Tank think about it. Tank is going to walk in there like on probably my Mal- Malinazi type stuff. Yeah. If he has to, he has to, though. You might not have a choice. And what Devin Haney yeah. going to do? He's going to so knock him out? Right like? on points. Right on points. He ain't stopping Tank. I don't think he's got that he type. He could be winning the fight. He, he could be winning the fight all he want. Once Tank get one good one, then that boy hit that canvas, boy. That's possible, but I think I think Twelve rounds, I think. And he, and he can cruise the victory. I'm gonna wait. I'm, I'm gonna wait till uh, he fights Loma. Um, but I'm telling you, if he has a good showing against Loma, and, and he goes disciplined, you know, he has all the attributes of that, and he wins against Loma, it ain't nothing Tank can do. All that body shot stuff, and if he proves everything he needs to prove against Loma, he'll, he'll be Tank. Cause I, it, Tank's still doing this thing where, you know. Fight people here, fight people there, and, and, and granted, I'm not saying he's been fighting nobody's because that Ryan Garcia, you know, he was good to take that fight, but he, no. he's taking his route. Where it, I mean, when is he gonna fight somebody? I think he's he may he may be doing it now, so I give him his credit. But I want to see see him fight more people that he think that that can really have a chance of beating him. Man. And I think if he fight, I think he's gonna fight. Um, I've been hearing sources saying he's gonna fight a. Uh, Pitbull Cruz again, so I, I like to hear that. But that that Haney fight needs to happen soon. I think Devin Haney, he, instead of Pitbull Cruz, I feel like he should go just fight Devin Haney next. I'm not mad at the Pitbull Cruz fight, but that, you know I feel like he should just wait on Devin Haney. He ain't gonna do that. He won't do that because the age that Mayweather thing, they don't do them. I hate to say it, but they they like to say them little fighter, them the mega, mega fights, drag them out as long as possible. You know, he didn't have it. Uh, kind of like save it up. You know, especially with them black fighters. I know they, exactly, they ain't gonna do that. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> they don't believe in talking fighting black fighters. Especially me, really. I know. I know exactly what you're talking about. You know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they gonna stay. Go fight Pitbull Cruz. I mean, they, they me, really, and then they got affinity for fighting Hispanic fighters. They love doing that, but they fight Hispanic fighters ten times over. Well, it's not even that. It's just the thing about it is like, and I can't. I, I hate to say it too, but I know exactly what you're talking about. But you know how they they just like um, the money. People like to see that black versus Mexican shit. That's just more money, more. Yeah, it is. That's the thing. That's the thing. They just draw and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like only yeah. real boxing fans don't come out to see uh, a Tank versus um, Devin Haney. You gonna have people that don't even know. Shit about boxing gonna watch a, a Isaac Cruz versus Tank. You feel me? So, right, yeah. yeah, I see exactly what you're saying. Yeah, just like that the uh, Garcia fight. Just Hell like yeah, fight. yeah, that's a prime example. You see how that was the biggest fight um, since Mayweather and Canelo. I think. Oh no, Mayweather McGregor. Excuse the hell out of me. Yeah. 
So we all know how that go though, man. But yeah, we kind of off topic a little bit. Um, any more thoughts on it? That's all good. 